The sky seemed to shiver. Birds flew in frantic circles, and far off in the distance, a massive shape moved between buildings like a walking mountain. Hum Sum froze. It was King Kong. Not a statue, not a costume, but a living, breathing, skyscraper-sized gorilla walking through the city. People were running, cars screeching, alarms blaring, but Um Sum climbed to the roof of his building with a pair of binoculars. Over the next few days, the world changed. Giant fences went up. News channels ran stories every second. Scientists from every continent flew in with gadgets and notebooks, trying to study Kong from a distance. Some wanted to trap him. Others wanted to study him. A few even suggested putting him on display. But Aum Sum saw none of that working. King Kong wasn't just big in size. He was big in feelings, too. No cage could hold that. A massive island reserve was prepared, far from cities, full of trees and hills where Kong could roam. Not a prison, but a peaceful home.